How you feeling, man? You're uh, a little banged up. Awesome fight, though. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, I mean, I'm not banged up any worse than my last one, so uh, it's it's something I'm used to. You know, I feel like I'm if I'm not bleeding, I'm not fighting. You guys were hitting each other with some power shots in there. Did he hit you with anything that really hurt you? Uh, you know, it, I wouldn't say hurt. Stunned, yes. I've, I, he hit me harder than I've been hit by anybody else, uh, for sure. Um, you know, and vice versa. I think I hit him harder than he's been hit before. So, uh, yeah, we, we were swinging for the fences, and that's what I was anticipating. And uh, I, I was happy to do it. It was a fun fight. You seem to lend. Okay. You seem to lend your right at will. How was that for you? Were you did you see it right away, and you just kept going for it? Yeah, you know, my right hand is is for whatever reason. I mean, the Jorgensen fight, this fight, it, it seems like it, it lands, it finds its home with accuracy, and uh, I mean, it, it lands hard. So uh, you know, that's that's always my go-to punch is that right hand, and uh, it, it seems that whenever I throw it, I throw it with confidence, it lands. You came into the UFC and you had those first two losses, and now you finally feel like you rebounded with the two wins that you've had back to back. Yeah, I, I started off a little rocky, obviously. Uh, you know, against good competition. You mm -hmm. know, tentatively the number two and three guys in the world. Um, you know, that being said, it's I go in there with confidence and I and I do what I know that I know how to do, and uh, you know I, I'm going to come out the winner every time if I if I go in there and be confident. Were you at all anticipating anything from Bad Pickett based on his nickname, One Punch? <laughs> You know, I knew he hit hard. Uh, I knew I had a good chin, and um, you know, there's only one way to find out how good your chin is, and that's to get hit by a hard puncher. They say you're only as good as your last fight. So where does this put you as far as in the, uh, you know, in the mix? Um, I like to think it puts me up there in the top. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm right where I deserve to be. I think I'm right in the mix. Um, you know, my last four opponents have been top ten guys. You know, given I, I dropped my first two, I won my last two. Um, you know, where, wherever the bosses put me, uh, you know, that's why they got people to do their job just like I do mine. You know, they put me in the rankings and uh, wherever they feel that I'm deserved, then I'm happy to be there. Do you still feel like you're representing for the WEC guys? Um, yeah, I, I started in the WEC, um, you know, but uh, I, I'm a UFC guy now. So, you know, that's, that's, that's my home is the UFC. And I'll, I'll never forget the WEC because that's where I got my start. But, uh, you know, I, I'm a UFC guy and uh, I'm happy to be here. Is there anybody in the UFC that you're eyeing to get in there and fight next? Yeah, I mean, obviously the top dogs, you know, it, but at the end of the day, it's it's whoever, Dana and, and Joe and Sean, whoever they want to put me with, um, keep me fighting, you're going to keep me happy. Sure, but stylistically, is there anybody you think you match up good with? I think I match up well with anybody. Um, I think my takedown defense is, is top notch. I think my hands are heavy. I think my hands are sharp and crisp. I think I'm fast. Um, I think I give anybody problems. Were you surprised that it was a split decision based on your performance? Uh, you, know, you, you never know what the judges are going to see. I felt that I won the fight, um, but again, you know, you, you could have a fight where you totally dominate and it goes to the judges and you lose the fight. So you, know, you never know what the judges saw. It's, it's, hard, it's hard saying, so um, you just wait for that announcement and uh, you're on pins and needles until they announce you as the winner. With all the, the steroid allegation or everything that's going on with the steroids, what are your take on, on PEDs in our sport? Uh, I've always prided myself on uh, nothing but protein, you know, a, a clean diet, protein, um, never touch steroids, never will touch steroids. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. If somebody else chooses to do it and they get busted for it, shame on them. Um, it's illegal, so don't do it. Marijuana, what are your thoughts on that? Never touch it. Do you feel like people should be punished equally as as you know, as bad as steroids. I, I think marijuana is going to slow you down. You know, if anything, um, you know, again, that's that's not my decision. Um, me personally, I'm not going to do it. If somebody else decides to do it and they get caught, again, shame on them. And and if the bosses want to punish them for it, then so be it. Eddie, you got a uh, New Year's resolution? Um, no. You know, I, I just uh, I got some home projects that that I've been working on for the last few months and. Uh, like to get everything buttoned up at home and uh, just kind of enjoy this win and, and eat some eat some comfort foods finally, and uh, you know I'll hopefully get back in the in the cage real soon. If Uriah wins his next fight, is that something that you'd like to get back? Um, again, it's it's whatever they want to give me. If they feel that hey you're going to rematch Uriah, then that's fine. Um, I, I'm not going to say no to anybody. You know, it's it's I'm here to fight the best. I'm here to fight the top, and uh, whatever I got to do to stay fighting and keep pushing me towards that belt. Have you been impressed with his performances as of late? Absolutely. I mean, Uriah always, I mean, he comes and he fights hard, and uh, he's hard to finish. He, he, he comes to put people away, and, uh, you know, he's an athlete. He's, he's strong. He's fast. He's, he's a dangerous opponent. He's dangerous for anybody, and, uh, you know, that's why he is where he is. Um, 
you know, having having fought him, I know he's a dangerous opponent, and uh, it's just it, he stands where he stands because of what he does. How much would you say you've improved since that last fight? I think I've improved. I mean, it's night and day difference. You know, I'm just like I said, coming in with confidence. Not that I didn't come in with confidence before, but. Uh, I just come in and, and let my hands fly and don't worry about the takedown. I mean, you saw it, Brad tried to take me down. I, I wizard hard, turned him down, and uh, got back to my feet. So I think my improvements have, have been leaps and bounds. And are you comfortable under the big lights? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's coming from the WEC days. And, uh, you know, I, I used to fight in, in Hammond when I first started. I mean, given there's not, there's probably 2,000 people. But still, I mean, being an amateur, not an amateur fighter, but being a, a, a local level fighter fighting in front of 2,000 people, that kind of gets you prepped for, for the bigger shows. You go from 2,000 to 13,000 to, you know, however many. So it's, um, I feel at home. Can you tell me a little bit about your fight camp? There's, it's, I know it's not like one of the big camps that's yeah. out there. So can you talk about the guys that you work with and how much they've helped you develop in this journey that you've had with the UFC? Absolutely. Uh, I, I train with a gym in Chicago. It's called Newbreed Chicago. And I also train at a gym in uh, Hobart, which is right down the road from my house, uh, from Doonlin Valley Tudo. Um, Doonlin has guys like Darren Elkins and Keith Wisniewski, both UFC veterans. Um, and up at Newbreed, you know, there's all their black belt and jiu-jitsus. They're guys who have been to Thailand to train. Um, just because I'm not in a Jackson's camp or I'm not in a, a big camp like that, I'm still seeing top tier competition, and these guys are these guys are pushing me hard. And uh, you know what I'm doing, it works for me, so I don't, I don't see any any reason to to differ from what I'm doing because it's working. What's your uh, plan for the New Year's celebration here? Are you gonna stay in Vegas, party up, eat, eat at a buffet? Uh, you know, that's, everybody always asks. you. Yeah, I'm a homebody. I'm I'm on a plane six o'clock in the morning. I'm going home to my dogs, and uh, you know, I, it's they're like my children. You know, my mom sent me a picture on my phone of, of my little puppy. Said, oh, he misses you, and uh, you know, it, it's like your children. You know, I don't have children, so that's like my children. I'm gonna go home and uh, I'm gonna spend the I'm gonna spend the New Year's Day with my dogs. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Eddie. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Yeah, congratulations. Absolutely.